Hi guys. So we are running slightly late for our live today, but today is a very interesting and a very interactive live. One of my dear friends, Shalini Pasi, would be joining us. Shalini is a founder of Shalini Pasi Art Foundation and Mash. She is a well-renowned art, design, fashion patron, and she is a philanthropist, an artist, and an art collector of international repute. And today we are going to talk about ABCs of skincare, wellness, what is new in the wellness market, and what is it that it takes to look radiant always. And the moment you would see Shanley for yourself, you would understand that how radiant and beautiful is she. And uh, it's actually not very difficult unless you really, really promise yourself to the T. Hi, Shanley. Hi, Doctor. How are you? All good. Welcome. How is it? Thank being? you so much, Doctor. Great. Fantastic. I'm just. Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Perfect. I can see a lot of people who've been already. We are having a lot of people already. Yeah. Perfect, Doctor. I'm just tagging the um, the live as well, so to we join in a little later, would know what we're doing. So Shani, I was telling them all about how well renowned are you when it comes to art collection and fashion, having your own. Would you also like to share a little bit about yourself? Hello, Doctor. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, Doctor. I can hear you now. Yeah, maybe we can have some from all our viewers. If you can hear me, that. Uh, I hope I you can hear us. Um, hi, I'm Chalini Pasi, and I'm here with Dr. Kitika today. And I hope you all can hear us. If you can, just uh, give us a wave. And uh, I think everything's clear. Quite simple. Yes. Perfect. So I have known you for so many years, and um, you know, every meets you talks about your. Your last skin. What is the secret? Tell us. So, uh, doctor, I'm. Uh, I have a very regimented schedule which I follow very religiously. I work out uh, every day, almost every. Uh, I work out every, like six times a week at least, and I follow different, uh, like different forms of exercise. So sometimes I do dance, sometimes yoga and cardio, as well as weights. And my diet also is very, very. Uh, it's very nutritious and very healthy. I don't consume alcohol or uh, tea, coffee, or you know any preservatives. So anything from a can or a packaged food, I don't uh, you know consume. Amazing, amazing. Um, uh, in, you know, if every get coffee, my coffee right here. In the moment yeah, I got it, like yes, I need my cup of coffee. So tell me what what about you? Uh, how was it at home? I follow DIY, follow the advice of the doctor. How was it feel? Uh, sorry, doctor, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Oh, my connection is actually full. Maybe I'll just connect again. Yeah. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Better? Yes, doc. It's much better. Thank you. Yeah. So I wanted to know how was the channel like while growing up? Always advice or of your mom's advice or solid advice that you got. Yeah. So my, uh, you know, my grandmother was, uh, uh, you know, instilled in us to eat healthy, and my mother as well. And uh, we always, you know, like, uh, but. Always, we were taught that you know you should do what makes you happy. It's something eating makes you happy. You should do that. Uh, of course, uh, healthy food was a very important part of our uh, you know uh, daily lives. But uh, we also were you know told like you know like being a Punjabi, a lot of the uh, activities were definitely focused around very rich food, and that I still always do enjoy. But the way it is prepared, so even your oil, the cooking oil that you could actually be cold pressed oil or oil which is actually good for you rather than you know using different oils or even the way the food is prepared 
uh, you could be eating fried food but it could be uh, from the best in ingredients you know so all that makes a lot of difference absolutely shalin all through it because what eat is what goes up i have been telling everyone i'm going to stop the comment of narration out to suggest that hiding your face so we will take the face data yeah so yeah whatever you eat goes on your skin so your high calorie food laden with sugar or dairy yeah patients were troubled with throat or acne of evidence that sugar is the white skeleton it's not only responsible for body weight gain so uh, how do you control your start me so uh, doctor i uh, i uh, consume goat yogurt uh, instead of taking regular yogurt so from goat milk they make the goat yogurt uh, i could not completely remove dairy from my diet because i think uh, that would that was affecting my calcium levels and uh, my body was fairly uh, actually my body is really like able to digest the goat yogurt really well and uh, and the probiotics are really important as well for the body and uh, yeah and i think uh, wheat has stopped completely i don't take wheat at all so instead i take uh, different other grains so wheat i found fine to be very sluggish you know makes you so very sluggish because we were in chat with for the other day with the renowned i yeah and he said the three most uh, inflammation you can remove from your diet is a dairy sugar because all that is causing inflammation turns into so it move all of the or it root the wheat and in fact here review for the view couple of wheat which is and it's a better thing to do that yeah so for like for the sugar i have replaced sugar with dates or with uh, you know palm sugar even when it's definitely required so dates in the food like when we make our uh, chutneys etc for the indian food we replace sugar and we add dates instead of that so shani i every day i have to make at home for the air so uh, diy uh, a mask would be uh, i think uh, i think the avocado mask is amazing as well as even the green tea you know just uh, green tea water like with tea bags and the last prince for the hair is amazing and uh, there's so many things in the kitchen depends on your skin type if you are dry skin or oily skin even just like uh, uh, you know wheat even wheat uh, wheat and with milk is amazing for the skin you know and that pack works really well totally depends on your skin type there's so many things in the kitchen that one can experiment with and i really i'm a big believer of turmeric and i consume a lot of turmeric it helps in it ups the metabolism and it helps in healing as well and i also take ashwagandha which i feel is really uh, fantastic it regulates your metabolism Uh, so how do you so i take it in tablet form no of course the roots are available as well and it helps you uh, you know to it helps your sleep cycle so Absolutely. i think that's uh, that's amazing that's a really good how like you to you uh, for all the viewers about is something that that often i like ashwagandha is very important actually all the autoimmune Yeah, body it's true. Back time. Yeah. Autoimmune thyroid, or data, or what mood disorders, or sleeplessness. They can start with a small dose, and then it's fully better. Yeah. So that's what I did when I started uh, consuming ashwagandha. I actually started with one tablet, and now I take two. Uh, the yeah. initial impact of the ashwagandha was that. it it sort of you know i felt like you know my hands were shaking but then the body got used to it you know the initial was i i could feel so whatever one is taking these herbs one has to be very receptive to what they are and the idea is to build it up slowly because you can't like straight away take the full dose and then you know you get demotivated in taking that i think the connection is little off due to the rains so that's why So guys, of course, ashwagandha is one. I uh, take uh, actually original powder from my doctor, this Malia ashwagandha powder. 
I have a question for your family here, which is that they want to know the secrets from you. So, uh, yeah. So the beauty beauty secrets are quite simple. You have to be very very uh, regimented in whatever you do. You have to be whether you are working out or you are your sleep cycle, your diet, uh, your. Uh, I mean, you have to educate. You have to like be very mindful of what you're eating and how. If you're even if you're working out too much, that could also be putting a strain on your health. Yeah. And I think the most important thing that I've learned during uh, these past few months is meditation. Really helps meditation affirmations. Uh, that's something that I had uh, not done before. I never meditated before. So this that is one thing I learned during this time, and I think meditation has uh, is really really a powerful tool which we can use. And initially, when I started meditating, I couldn't sleep for three days because I had so much energy that uh, it was just incredible. If you meditate the right way, you're able to control your mind. You're able to control so many elements uh, that are not in your control. So I guess it's a whole approach. It's like a holistic thing. It's not. Beauty is not external; it comes from within. So, what is within reflects onto you. Absolutely. So, whatever you eat comes onto your skin. How you are, what you think, if you are, you know, holding grudges or if you're angry inside, it eventually shows up on your face. You know. You're right, Shani, and or you know, a beautiful person inside of this house. So, even in my clinic, if my patients come to me, I always tell them that I can help you improve your skin out on the outside. But if you're inside unhappy or if you're inside stressed, you know these things don't really generally help you in the long term. So we have all sorts of things. Like today in my clinic, I had patients who had come to me all the way from Sikkim to treat for PCOD, but then I had to tell that yes, prioritizing it. Sunny, what is your on uh, the beauty treatments or anti-aging taking rounds in the market? What so is it? Lots, lots of there are lots of amazing uh, products and creams that are available. My favorite is I use uh, Obagi's uh, vitamin C uh, serum as well as I use a lot of sunscreen. I think sunscreen is the I think we people don't use enough of it. I think it's the best anti-aging. So prevention is actually better than cure. So sunscreen is something that I don't. Uh, if I put it every day. I think it's really important. And uh, retinol uh, is 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 really good. I do use it a couple of times a week. And there are a lot of uh, yeah, there are a lot of things. In fact, I think doctor, you should speak about them. In your you Absolutely. have a lot of amazing. Uh, there's a drip. I believe you have a fantastic drip at your clinic, which revitalizes. Yeah, so Shani, of course, my favorite treatment was this the KB treatment that I launched last year in my clinic. Because it's a very aggressive product, it your skin from the inside. That's why I also believe you know your skin from inside. You don't have to put it up on the side. So there are drips that revive. Uh, in revive was and I have exclusively. Like it's like a juice part to your skin. Take a pill, it gets a lot. But when you take an IV drip, yeah. Yeah. so one can choose the drip according to your skin. You have Mega Boost, which is good for immunity boost against COVID because it's high to absorb vitamin E. And then we have Vita Glow, which has glutathione, Vita Glow, which has skin feel radiant. And then the drips for jet lag or for hangover. Trips are satisfied and have been used all over the world, and tested. So yeah, and we have also launched the concierge service now. So people who are hesitant to step out, they can always drop in a message and we'll arrange a concierge service. And that's amazing, doctor. That's really good to know. In yeah, beauty on it's quite popular. It's been very popular in Southeast Asia as well. You know. Um, yeah, so we are getting you. Idea and trip more exclusive. I want to educate people for them to take it so that they understand that these certified formulas from Revive Tea and you can buy all that you're putting in comes from the Revive head office. You don't buy anything from India. So everything is safe and it is effective. 
Do I have questions for you, Shalini? People want to know what supplements. So uh, I'm taking the vitamin D, D3, calcium, uh, and I take as well as uh, spirulina, nashwagandha, as I mentioned earlier. I also take folate uh, because uh, uh, of my hemoglobin, and uh, I yeah, and I sometimes take zinc tablet if I feel. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about that's about it. At times, I've taken biotin as well, like a six five months course for the hair, which is quite effective. Uh, I would really recommend a biotin for the hair. That's it's it's a really good. Uh, so any DIY that you do for your hair, I can hear see your hair are really good. So I actually don't really uh, blow dry my hair. I just uh, sort of leave it natural. Uh, because I just don't like too much heat on my hair, so, and I do my hair myself. And I just, uh, I've just started. I use, uh, I actually shaved my hair. I shaved my, I've shaved my hair four year, uh, four times now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so it's now come, it's become longer. So I have started using Moroccan oil treatment, and that's really amazing because you can just apply a little bit of the oil on your hair. And you don't need to blow dry it. It just sort of gives it a nice uh, body to it. You don't need really need to do it like every time. You're right. I think I think I'm a lot of people color their hair and you know they use very harsh shampoos and chemicals and blow dry. I think that damages the hair. I think That's absolutely best to leave it natural and. So today only like she has reached and she has smooth thing. And then they got bonding down. Kids are here like twice, twice in a. She's very young. She's like. Then she's having hair falls. So I was telling her that if I do it for you, it's not gonna stop the damage. Yeah. So how? Then I don't blow dry my hair. I just like a serum. I put spray. Yeah. Put them side. Absolutely. That's the best thing. I mean, I I just feel that it's better to have hair than uh, for a longer period of your life than to have blow dried hair for the shorter period of your life. So it's an option. I mean, you know, you want, there's always a give and take, so you have to choose what you want. Absolutely. So, and I don't color my hair at all. This is the natural color of my hair. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So again, I have a is it true? She wants to know how to keep black. Sorry, I can't hear. How to achieve glass? Your favorite yeah. So I uh, use uh, I scrub my skin once a week. I use uh, the Zo scrub, which is a salt scrub, a Zo by Zo Baji. It's an amazing scrub. I also use sometimes a black uh, salt, a uh, black salt scrub, which is the Kala Namak, which you can buy at the local grocery store. And you can just mix it with water, or you can mix it with coconut oil. And that's an amazing scrub. And I think uh, exfoliating your skin is one of the most important skincare regimes because that's the way the dead skin can be exfoliated, and you can apply your products. And I think exfoliation is one thing that people don't know how to do. You know, you're and right. That's a step that they miss, and I think it's a very very simple thing. Yeah, and when they don't. <laughs> Over exfoliate. Yeah, I think once a week exfoliating once a week is more than enough. And then I exfoliate at night, so I never exfoliate in the day, because if you exfoliate in the day and you're going out, that's not a good thing. So I always exfoliate at night so that my skin has enough time to rest at night. And if there has been any like minor, you know, damages, then it can repair. Absolutely. So coming to so what it is. Skin is really high; it gets reflected, shines like glass. So that's glass skin. So how you can achieve it? Well hydrated to start. With. Yeah. So I I put a lot of my skin is very dry. Like it's really dry. I have to use a. I mean, I never ever have had a acne problem because my skin was very dry. So I use a lot of moisturizer. I use uh, I've used presently right now. I have used uh, vitamin C from Avaji, mm -hmm. then uh, from Zo another uh, uh, serum, and then of course I have a layer of uh, makeup a base, which is a very light uh, base for a makeup and a mild uh, like a foundation, very light foundation. 
very but well. I think when you exfoliate the, the glow comes but also you have to build it up from within because uh, I guess it's everything comes from within you see that's and your true. system has to be clean you have to detox your system uh, I mean we have in India we have so many like you know your digestive system has to be absolutely clean yeah. So if there's so, toxins in the body, they come up on the face, they, you know, under the eyes, uh, so all that happens. And you're talking about the of the system, your mantras for detox? So for detox, uh, uh, there's, uh, I take this, uh, uh, I make this own, this powder myself, which is made of black salt, mm -hmm. um, uh, jeera, ajwain, uh, and it's got cinnamon, and it's got cardamom, and nutmeg. And uh, I mix it and I drink it twice a day, morning and evening, with hot water and lemon juice. Uh, that's really amazing. And you have to basically have a, a rich uh, a fiber diet. So that, so you know that, uh, and it's a, it's a, you have to detox your system regularly. And it's not that you go to a spa once and you come back. And it's a lifestyle which you have to maintain. And it's like you have to have your, uh, you know, your good bacteria, you have to have your greens, so have, like have a green juice. So it's like a mix of lots of things. Yeah, because and like I have acne on this, taking their history, they would tell me long standing gut issues, you know, I have IBS. And all that is going around has over 2 million bacteria, which for all the and if that is not okay, it's not okay. Your mood will not be okay. Your yeah. not okay. Start yeah. having it's really important to have a good cut. Starting with a full fiber, which can have natural fiber. Diet and then probiotics, which can come from from a curd, a curd which is enriched with probiotics. Probiotics from Mark. Can still create probiotic, just a cell which is available in chemist. Or you can make caffeine, and make shortcut at all things are easy available to work on your gut. A uh, lot of questions and things you and they want to know about good fat. What all you have in good fat? Have so I, uh, I, you know, if the recipe requires, I eat oil. Like if a recipe requires for me to, for ghee or oils to be added, I have that. Uh, along with that, I take, uh, as well, I forgot to add, I take omega uh, 3, 6 and 9, which com are combined. Uh, I also in winters take uh, cod liver oil, which, which is fish oil. Yeah, and uh, so I mean I don't really go for good fats like I don't like you know take a spoon of coconut oil and drink it it's already added in my food if the recipe requires it, I don't I don't cut it down so I've, I've stuck to the original recipes of the food I haven't made special recipes but it's just that the ingredients is really good quality so I think if you ate your normal food yeah. and you would you would actually get all the good fat that you need if you know, ate a balanced diet Rather yeah. than following yeah. different fat diets, I've never ever uh, visited a dietitian. I mean, I've consulted various doctors on, uh, you know, health as well as, you know, my supplements. But I've never followed anybody's diet. Like, I've never followed a diet plan. I've always followed what I felt was right. So, like, for me, um, I definitely had urgent oil in the morning. Then I've started including a lot of putting on my chapati or... I'm having that, and I love others. Skin. And when yeah. it comes to really important for your hair or your heart, but also the GNC has a brilliant omega like omega fish oil, CoQ10, or capsules of the breakfast. That's a brilliant thing at one. So people are really worried about that. It's absolutely fine. It's important. It's lubricant. The joints and it's great for your hormones as yeah. well. So, Preeti uh, here wants to know a hair. Do you have a hair mask dress, Kalini? Sorry? A hair mask. A hair mask. Uh, yeah, so a hair mask uh, uh, would be you can use avocados. The honey is amazing. I've used, uh, I use egg a lot, but you have to be really careful with that. 
I won't recommend it for the faint heart, hearted. <laughs> egg masks, uh, egg, egg yellow mask and egg white masks are incredible. And uh, I mean, I if I use a mask, it's an egg mask or, or onion juice and stuff like that. So it was very hardcore. That's so, quite <laughs> yeah. Really not <laughs> yeah. So what just today morning was I used some fresh aloe vera gel, a little bit of good, one ripe banana, then I added one, egg. and then I add some, uh, you know, hair. I haven't consumed so open those but you know doctor what happens is if you add too many uh, too many products so as soon as you put a banana the banana is so starchy none of the other thing that you're putting is going to have an effect because it as works. soon as you put, I mean it works but the nutrients of the other things are not going in through anywhere because certain what? products are so thick that that coats your hair and when you are putting an egg so the egg will once you put the banana the egg will not go in, into the scalp Next time, you put your banana on this side. Yeah. <laughs> or if you just want to do it together, I'm happy with it. I did. And then, or I think what, what really works for me is the washes. You know, you can do a chamomile tea wash after your shampoo. That comes out really amazing. You know, and the uh, hair feels and the scalp feels uh, really good. A green tea wash and even a chamomile wash is really amazing or mint tea uh, even mint leaves and coriander leaves wash is really good for the scalp yeah especially if your scalp is itching that really helps like after a blow dry a lot of people get it absolutely smoothen so down your hair one can yeah. water which i have spoken about even the place for um, I think my voice is really bad. A lot of uh, comments. Yeah, I, it's not it's not very clear. I don't know the connection is showing. So sorry, guys. So I'm gonna uh, conclude the chat now. Shalini, any um, tips on well for one over here? Sorry, doctor. Tips on wellness. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Tips on wellness. Oh, tips on wellness. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I think the basic mantra is that whatever you're doing, you need to follow, uh, you know, you need to understand your body. If you're exercising, if it's affecting you, if you're over-exercising, you need to understand. Uh, you have to be very mindful of how your body is reacting to anything that you're doing. Uh, that's the most important thing. There's so much information available on the net. One can just simply type hair care products for dry hair hundred things pop up. I mean, it's so easy now for everybody and it's so simple. People just need to look and understand. And uh, I mean, there are like, you have to basically, it's very dedicated. Uh, it starts from your diet to your exercise, to your general well-being. You know, you see a golden word over because I always tell my patients that the doctors are always all about patients how nice so following is what is important yeah following everything to the t and not giving up like i like you know sometimes so many of my friends they'll ask for advice and after one week they'll say it's not working so i'm like hey it's going to work after like it'll take at least a month and there are people who, who come back saying within five days i've lost five kgs so it's totally your own belief i think you're most important thing is whatever you're doing, you have to believe in it. So I see different, I, when I meet so many different kinds of people and they have different reactions to whatever little advice I give them. Some of them just lap it up and say, oh my God, I've lost. And it's just how, it's actually the mind, it's all in the mind. So if you believe in something, it will work. If you don't believe it, half of it is, is not, there's no point doing it. Absolutely. So if it fails, the doctor's advice or whatever you're trying, follow it to the T and you will see the result. Yeah. Thank you, Shalini. Thank, Thank you, doctor. Lovely seeing you. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.